What's going on guys, welcome to another video where you guys read the title, I bought an ST150. So, this is going to be my little toy, daily, whatever, until I can drive the S3. And to be honest, I don't see myself getting rid of this even when I do have the S3. This thing is going to be perfect for going to work, coming back, taking it out, doing whatever. If anybody has had a Ford Fiesta Mark V or Mark VI, you guys know that these are quality little cars, especially the ST150s. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and run this thing through you guys, let you know what the story is with it, and what I plan to do with it. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead, pull this thing into the garage, just so I can get a better light on it and show you guys a bit more properly. Okay guys, so here she is. First thing I'm gonna go ahead and start off with is a quick picture of the condition I bought this car in. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up now. So when I bought this car, it had two big blue stripes that went up along the whole thing. And it's, it was sort of a sore, most, if you looked at it back then, you probably would look at it like, oh, it's just a normal little Fiesta and that's about it really but when i got it i got it for super cheap i actually paid um 600 pounds i think it was um for this little car um of some people that were moving away and basically wanted rid of it um so yeah and ever since i've just sort of it was sat for a long long time i don't know whether it was from the owner um that had it that I, I took i bought it off or it was from a different owner but i know it's been sat for a long time because the mileage on this little thing is only forty thousand miles now this i think is a 2005 so forty thousand miles in a 2005 car is definitely it's gonna have to be sat for a little while and i don't know like i said i don't know who owned it when it was sat but it definitely was sat for a while. So, um, yeah. So when I bought it, it was neither the service. Uh, all the wheels were all curbed. Um, all the bodywork. I mean, I haven't really done much bodywork to it. All I've literally done is just given it a good wash and a wax. But oh, it's dirty now because of the uh, the weather. But yeah. So I've painted the wheels. Um, I tried to go for like a like a done metal or yeah I mean they turned out all right I uh, can't really complain about them I've got some spaces on the back I think they're 22 mil on the back and 10 on the front or five yeah probably a five because they are absolutely tiny um, I've this is actually a pre facelift so this is not a facelift um, obviously with the facelifts they have the sort of mushy um, dash. Mushy, I mean spongy dash. So they have a spongy jet dash. They have a bigger speedo. Obviously that's the speedo in this one. And the radio and that is all different as well. So what I've done is I've gone ahead, I've fitted a double din radio in it. It's quite a nice one to be fair. It's a JVC, fully touchscreen, fully Bluetooth. Um, yeah, it's pretty damn quality to be fair. As you can see, it's got all the all the little gadgets and not whatnot. So yeah, uh, the gear knob. Basically, I bought a new gear knob because it was all, all the level was ripped off, and this one is in perfect condition. I had the seats all washed, all the interior, all the seats were out, all everything was out. I put a picture up now of. I literally cleaned all the carpet and made sure it was literally pristine. Um, yeah. 
had the rear windows tinted. As you guys can see, they are extremely dark. Um, <coughs> Changed the rear lights to a facelift. I've put this snazzy diffuser kit on, which I'll go ahead. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it in the description, uh, the link to it. And these things were missing, and yeah, it's just sort of needed some TLC. But uh, yeah, so we've got some coilovers on it. I got them used, not brand new. I think they're APs. Um, and we have a Miltec uh, cat back system, which again was used from a um, blown up ST. So, all the grills and fog lights and everything else has all been resprayed re uh, just by a rattle can. It's had new wipers, uh, wiper delete on the back. I fully serviced it, so it's got a um, brand new oil and filter. Fuel filter, cabin filter, um, spark plugs, and I've also got a new coil pack and a ram air intake kit. So, so, so yeah, it's pretty damn cl I've cleaned it all up in here as well. Um, yeah, there's a little ram air intake kit, new coil pack. Uh, I'll go ahead and chop that in the, the description as well, put a link. Um, and yeah, otherwise it's fairly standard. I've just given it a good service. The service history on this car is actually brilliant. Apparently it's had a new clutch. So a new clutch at 40,000 miles is saying something. Either the original owner <laughs> didn't know how to drive <laughs> or I, I have no idea. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get it a start. The engine light's on because no, there's no cat. And, yeah. Otherwise, guys, it's a really clean example, to be fair. Except for that, I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay, so that's new. Never seen that. I've never seen that do that before. What well, is working? So I don't even know how to turn this thing off and on again. Anyway, not my priority at the minute. So there you go. There's the mileage, forty nine eight two. So we're just about to hit forty one. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty damn sweet example. I'll go ahead and take it out. Maybe it'd be better in the, in the daylight. I can't believe that it's done that. I've never seen that do that before. <coughs> so yeah, it looks pretty damn decent to be fair. I mean. It's got a couple of scuffs here and there, I mean, end of day is what, 15, 16 years old? It does need a good wash, and I'm going to go ahead and do a video on refurbing, refurbing these headlights um, the easiest way possible, and it come, they'll come out pretty damn good as well. So yeah, can't really complain. I'm actually really looking forward to, to driving this little thing, man. It's, it's uh, they're good little reliable cars, and I can't really uh, can't really down them to be honest. So as I said before, we have the Miltec catback system. Uh, I've also got change all the bulbs as well. So we've got some snazzy LEDs in the lights. Um, yeah, it's just a little side project, really. LED non plate lights, everything works on this car. There's not a single thing that doesn't work, and which is exactly what I want because one day, guarantee when I do sell this little thing, I want it to be a good example. 
one thing I do need to get is one of those button keys um, for it because I think these are the spare keys and I do like having the little button to press to unlock it. But uh, yeah guys, so yeah, that's my new, to me, SC150. So yeah, next year, maybe I'll take it for a little drive, we'll do a driving video. Uh, if you guys wanna know any more about this little SC150 or want me to do any more videos on it, obviously I've already said I'm gonna do a headlight refurbish video on it just because I think it'll be a good little video. Um, I've also got that Husky 125. I don't know if you guys seen it in this video, but I know in my previous video I showed you guys it. Um, again, let me know if you want to see that, that or if you want to see me riding it or whatever um, next year. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, next video, we're going to go ahead and get... Maybe not next video. Next video will probably be the headlights refurbished, but we'll get the Audi down here and we'll... Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll piss about, we'll find something to do. Anyway, so um, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. So uh, yeah, see you there.